Hello everyone, this is Donna Rios with New Wind Marketing and I'd like to welcome you to the blog. Um, what I'm going to be doing here, um, it's taken me a while to kind of put all this together and, and to really focus on who I wanted to market to. And the more that I thought about it, the more I just wanted to really encourage and help out and support the um the stay-at-home mom and dads out there, the entrepreneurs at heart, the retired folks who have gifts and talents, and they have the abilities to um, create things with their own hands. And how to take that, uh, maybe doing things for your family, uh, making cakes for your friends, um, doing flower arrangements, Whatever the case may be, maybe you make jewelry or whatever, but how to take that idea now and to put it online to help you reach a much broader soap of folks. So, but to do that, there's a process, of course, and so I want to be able to uh, um, share with you the wealth of knowledge that I have in uh, developing a website and how do you go about doing that what kind of things are you looking for what do you even need on your website and so I know that you know when you're first starting out for if you're first uh, you know you you've already had this dream you've already had this desire you're ready to get started and get going um, and so that's where I want to take you from so today this this video here is going to be on buying your first domain name and where do you go how do you even do that and what do you need to know so it's not a scary it, it's not a scary bit of information I want to keep this you know like in short 10 minute little segments but uh, um, it's not a scary segment to do so the first place we're gonna do we're gonna just jump right in and if you have any questions please don't hesitate to email me or give me a call but if you um, we're gonna jump right in so the first place we're gonna go to is just open our web browser and we're gonna go to a domain name I want you to just type up here in your uh, web browser just godaddy.com. You don't even need nowadays the www, the HTTP. You don't need, need any of that. Just type in godaddy.com. Now, I just par particularly use this website to purchase all my domain names because they're easy, they're fast, um, and I can, you know, pretty much get the, the things that I'm looking for. Um, you know, I, I had a, um, I worked with another business and I was redoing their website. This is just a small little story. And, um, the guy really wanted to keep his domain name that he already purchased, which I, which I can understand that because that was their business name. The problem was trying to find out where this business name this domain name was was hosted where did the guy before me purchase this domain name so that I can now get into it and um, you know be able to do the things that I needed to do to upgrade his website well to make a long story short the uh, don't ask me why or how or any of the things but anyways the guy purchased this domain name from Australia and they the company did not have any um, customer support where you could talk to anybody it was all through emails it was very frustrating but to say the least we did get it done um, the sad thing is is that it cost the business you know like forty dollars a year for just to have this domain name where with GoDaddy you know for like less than fifteen dollars for a year you can um, purchase your own domain name and I think that that's really you know it's it's a much better deal and it's here hosted in the United States and so anyways this is where I want you to go um, right here in this little this little toolbar this is where you can start thinking about you know the ideas that you want to throw together for a domain name whether it's um, you know something that you do like I said if it's flower arrangements bird houses cakes jewelry uh, you know all that kind of stuff you know start putting in little ideas and seeing if that domain name is even available be creative you know work with the words you know don't just settle for the first thing that you know comes up and just because it says that that one's already been taken then think of something else uh, uh, we're just going to experiment here and let's say uh, flowers to go and we can do you know flowers to go and it'll be dot com as you can see and we're going to do go
and it's saying here flowers to go.com is already taken so would we like to and then it shows you all the other ones that you can you know choose from or they suggest my suggestion here is to stay with a dot com the reason is is because almost 99 percent of the people when they are searching for something online or you tell them a domain name they instantly register you know um, flowers to go dot com they don't think of dot net dot info dot whatever they think of dot com so let's try to think of something that that the people will recognize so okay flowers to go dot com is already taken so let's try something else let's do flowers and then the number two go and flowers to go is already taken so we're gonna you know that that's why I said it just takes a little time you gotta play with the words you gotta get something that you're really looking for um, something that can um, jump out at people and and in today's day and age it doesn't have to start with an A to be the top of the search engines it doesn't have to uh, um, um, be anything it can even be your name if you wanted to um, whatever whatever you're wanting to create whatever you're wanting to do this does take a little bit of time to think about not just throw something up there I mean a lot of people do and that's fine if you want to build a little business if you want to build a reputation of excellence if you want to build something that's going to be lasting and leave you know something behind that you are proud of when when people look at this and they look at your name they can be proud you can be proud of what you have created not just with um, your business aspect of the things that you're selling or what you're producing or the services that you're offering but with your website itself then this is something you know take a little time on I wrote a couple articles also about this you know just giving you a couple more hints of what you should include how you should include it and things like that so educate yourself spend the time educating yourself and um, and then you'll come here and you'll be able to purchase it so uh, let's say say we're staying with the flowers thing so um, well, what if we do this to go flowers to go flowers is already taken okay let's um my flowers all right okay what if we do this flowers by Donna if that's my name I mean you can use whatever name you are or anything like that oh that's already taken too hmm so see how you have to be creative and you just have to try but it doesn't cost you a thing to go here and try to figure out what a good domain name would be now one thing I do want to talk about while you're here at GoDaddy I mean once you find one that you um, that you like and they say that it's available uh, they're going to ask you you know to to purchase all the other ones to keep it to keep it um, in your name or you know they're going to want you to purchase the dot com the dot net and all that kind. you don't need all that stuff just stick with the the dot com that's all that you need they're also going to offer you many other services um, you know uh, uh, they're going to offer you email services website services uh, it's, uh, it's called secure secure services all that kind of stuff um, being online for a little while I mean at first you know yes I got the email account yes I did the secure the security one and certified my website you know so it be in my name and all that kind of stuff and honestly um, I would I would say you don't need it when you're just getting started just stick with the straight domain name get it purchased and then in the next couple of videos I'm going to show you what to do with it but uh, um, but in any time starting a business, especially online, yes, there's going to be a little bit of an investment, but it's nothing compared to like if you were going out to starting a business and you had to purchase a storefront, you know, and that kind of stuff. So you are going to invest a little bit of money. It it's not going to be nothing. It, it will be probably under seventy five dollars to get you started, to get your domain name up and running, to get your website where it can be. Um, where you can start per you know putting up your products or services or little articles or whatever you want to do so 
Um, stick with the straight domain name. Don't get the email address. Don't get the uh, uh, certified website. Don't get them building your website for you. Um, I'm gonna be able to. I'm gonna walk you through all that kind of stuff. So, anyways, so this is where I want you to go, and I want you to just play around with that a little bit, and um, I'll see you on the next video.